Hi, I'm Jeff Harlan from Wabonji Community College. I'm here to talk about dual credit opportunities at Oswego Schools, and I'm the manager of high school partnerships. This is the definition from the interstate, from the Illinois Community College Board. What does that mean to you? To you, dual credit simply means that you're taking a course that earns credit towards high school graduation while at the same time earning college credit. There are certain courses that are available at Oswego Schools. English 101, First Year Composition 1, English 102, First Year Composition 2, Auto 100, Criminal Justice 100, and Criminal Justice 102. What does IAI mean? The Illinois Articulation Initiative simply means that every school in Illinois will accept that credit towards their gen ed degrees. Um, the Illinois Initiative is a statewide transfer agreement on courses transferable among more than 100 participating colleges or universities in Illinois. IAI works best for students who know they are going to transfer but are undecided on their college or university. That will grant their bachelorate degree. This is a simple way for students to earn colleges or earn credits while they're at Wabonsi to earn credits towards another school. When where is it taught? The simple thing about dual credit is it's taught at the high school with the high school teachers that are approved by the high school and by Wabonzi as adjunct faculty and it's during the normal course schedule. So students don't have to go outside of their realm to learn or earn college credit. There are two models at Oswego. The first model is that the class is taught by an Oswego teacher who meets all the criteria to be an adjunct instructor at Wabonzi Community College and has been approved by the college. This is for the English and automotive courses. The class is taught by a Wabonzi Community College instructor that travels to the high schools is the second model. And in this case, with the criminal justice courses, we have a professor actually go to the high schools and teach three days a week there, and the student earns coursework. What is the cost? For courses taught by us, we go staff, the class is tuition free. Well, Bonzi normally charges $104 per credit hour. With this model, the students don't pay any tuition. There is a small fee of $8 per semester hour for each student. And when it's for the criminal justice courses, for courses taught by Wabonzi staff, the students must pay full tuition because we do send our staff here. What are the savings? This is the great part. For instance, with English 101 and 102, which are dual credit and transferable to any state in Illinois, or any college in Illinois, your dual credit cost is $8 per semester hour. At Wabonzi, that's $112 per semester hour. At Northern, that's a $342. And at Aurora University, $590. So you're saving over $500 per credit hour by taking the courses here versus taking them at, your local, at a different university. The trick is you're starting, a semester, you're starting a college transcript, so you want to make sure that you do the best that you can on all of your classes and all of your grades. You must earn a C or better to earn credit towards a degree. Um, you're beginning an official college transcript, so you want to make sure that you do the best you can. A poor grade can affect your transcript. You do, want to not, do not want to start college with a 1.0 or a 0 GPA, so you want to always remember your GPA. And if students withdraw from the class, it can affect them for financial aid down the road. So if you withdraw from 50% of your classes or more, it could affect your financial aid. What are the benefits of dual credit? It saves time. You don't have to go anywhere. It's offered here at your college. You're ready for college. You're ready to go. Hopefully, it gives you the experience of taking college coursework and you're understanding the curriculum. Um, start your degree early. You earn these colleges at the same time that you do your college work or your high school work and you don't have to actually leave your building. It earns general credits for transfer. Anything that is IAI, like I said, Illinois Articulation Approved, then it's okay and it will transfer to any college in the state. Take advantage of the convenience. It's here. It's available. It's easy. Earn high school credits toward graduation. 
and save money. Like we had said, it saves you a lot of money in the long run before you have to graduate. Requirements, you must be 16 or older, but the ICCB has recently changed rules so that you can be under 16 if you just do an extra form. Contact me and we'll talk about the generalities of that, but if you talk with your counselor and there's some extra things, we can get students that are under 16 in. Um, meet all class requirements, including placement testing requirements. Now this is important, especially for math and English, is that you have to take the COMPASS test, which is a ACT test to make sure you're at the level for math and English, or you must be able to meet the requirements by ACT, which is an ACT score of 22 for math and 18 for English. And as long as you meet those scores, then you can get into the college level classes. Um, you meet with your guidance counselor, hopefully soon, and talk to them about what the requirements are for each class, and then you will meet. Um, talk to your counselor as well about the different tuition fees. Some courses are different than others. The academic resources. You are also welcome to use all the resources that every Wabonzi Community College student has, which includes our tutoring center at the Center Grove campus, which basically is open all the time from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. for all students to go there and receive tutoring. Um, My WCC gives the students the opportunity to go online for resources, um, check their grades, they can look at their how they're standing in the class, and then also the Todd Library, which also gives them opening for different resources that are available for them. One big thing that we want to remember we want to remind students about is that they can requ uh, request their transcripts at any time and we always want our students to send their transcripts on to other schools whether they're coming to Wabonzi or they're transferring to another school it's always important to remember that you can get your transcript and that you do have those credits online all ready to go it's a simple five dollar cost online through wabonzi.edu backslash transcripts or in person, mail or fax it. You can come to Wawanzi, either the Sugar Grove Copley or downtown Aurora campus, and we can get you a copy of your transcripts. Now, one thing that a lot of people ask is, what's the difference between my student getting AP credit, dual credit, and articulated credit? So, advanced placement is a lot of, a lot of students take advanced placement. It's a, mandated by the college board that the curriculum is set a certain way and that the students take an exam at the end. I personally used to teach AP US history, so I know. You have to submit a curriculum, you have to submit, submit all your um, exams and things that you need to do, but each student then takes the course, and at the end, they hopefully do well on the exam and earn college credit for it. Articulated credit's a little different. Articulated is only for Wabanzi. With articulated credit, students take classes in career and technology education. Um, it duplicates the exact same curriculum that Wilbonzi offers so that those students, when they graduate from any Oswego school, can go to Wilbonzi and have that credit transcripted right onto their um, college transcript, and then they can earn that towards a degree, such as auto or um, manufacturing or any of the different degrees that we offer. Dual credit's a little different. Dual credit, the difference is that it's immediately transcripted to your, um, to your college transcript. So as long as the student takes a class and earns a grade of C or better, they will earn that degree, whether it be CTE, general education, or certificate program. It's an immediate thing. And the thing that you have to be wary of, of course, is with dual credit, is that it's an immediate credit that earns you college degree, but at the same time it can hurt you going into the future if you don't earn the grade you need. So you have to make sure that you do the best you can and make sure you earn a C or better going on to college. If there are any questions, my name is Jeff Harlan. I'm the manager of high school partnerships at Wabonzi Community College. My number is 630-466-2394 and you can always contact me via email at jharlan at wabonzi.edu.